so hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel guys today in this video we will be discussing about the differences between pack column distillation and tray column distillation guys you all know that pack column distillation and tray column distillation are two common methods used in the separation of components in a mixture through distillation okay guys now we will discuss a detailed comparison between these two the first key difference between the pack column distillation and tray column distillation is about its structure guys in the case of internal structure of pack column distillation the column is filled with packing materials the packing material are of two types which we have discussed in the video previously which are random packing and structure packing so the internal structure of pack column comprises of packing material and this packing material provides a very large surface area and this large surface area is to have a vapor liquid contact which increases the efficiency of separation the higher the contact of vapor liquid the better will be the separation and guys in the case of pack column there are no distinct trays or a plate inside the column the whole column is filled up of random and structured packing okay guys in contradictory in the case of tray columns the tray column has a series of trays or plates which are stacked into the column at regular intervals so guys the first key difference was of structure where the internal structure of pack column comprises of random and structured packing which are randomly placed or structurally arranged while in the case of tray column it comprises of trays or plates which are stacked at a regular interval okay guys now moving on towards the second difference which is contact efficiency guys talking about the pack column the pack column relies on the large surface area which are provided by the packing material and this packing promotes the efficient vapor liquid contact and guys the larger surface area and the high efficient vapor liquid contact is achieved because of the turbulent flow and this turbulent flow is very effective for mass transfer okay guys while in the case of tray column the tray column relies on the efficiency of plates or trays which are provided for vapor liquid contact so guys the second difference was about contact efficiency where the pack column provides a larger surface area and creates a turbulent flow which helps in efficient vapor liquid contact while in the case of tray column it totally relies on the efficiency of the plates or the trays which are placed to have a vapor liquid contact okay guys now moving on towards the third difference which is pressure drop guys in the case of pressure drop the pack column has a lower pressure drop compared to the tray columns and in the case of tray columns the tray column generally have a higher pressure drop compared to the pack column okay then now the next parameter is of flexibility guys the pack column can be more adaptable to the changes in process conditions so the pack columns are highly adaptable while on the other hand in the case of tray column the tray columns may be less adaptable to the changes in process conditions which are compared to the pack columns so the tray columns are less adaptable okay now talking in terms of efficiency the pack column can have lower separation efficiency compared to the tray column which is especially in high purity separations and in the case of tray column the tray column offers higher separation efficiency due to the greater number of theoretical plates okay guys now the next difference is about maintenance guys in the case of pack column the maintenance is easy compared to the tray columns because the packing material are randomly placed and can be easily removed cleaned and used or reused again but in the case of tray column the maintenance is not that easy compared to the pack column because the trays or the plates are fixed and not that easily accessible okay guys the next difference is of corrosive liquid in the case of pack column we can handle the corrosive liquids more easily compared to the tray columns because mostly the packing materials are made up of anti corrosive material normally they are made up of plastics frp or pps 
so corrosive liquid handling is more suitable in the case of pack column distillation while in the case of tray column distillation they are not good for corrosive liquids because the material of construction of the plates of the trays are more prone to get corroded while handling with corrosive liquids okay guys in the next difference the pack columns are more suitable for low capacity operations while in the case of plate columns the capacity of plate column can handle a wide range of applications or a wide range of gas and liquid flow rates okay then the handling of toxic and flammable materials is good appropriate and safe while we talk about pack column means the pack column are suitable to handle toxic and flammable compared to the tray columns so the plate columns are not that safe and suitable for handling of toxic and flammable compounds okay guys the next is about the fouling liquid guys the packed column is not recommended while we are dealing with fouling liquids because the packing which are placed randomly or structurally into the packed column are more prone to get choked when we are dealing with fouling liquids and guys on the other hand talking about the plate column they are appropriate and recommended when we are dealing with the fouling liquids compared to the plate column okay and in the case of foaming system or foaming liquids the pack column is more appropriate compared to the tray column because guys when talking about the trays column or pack column there are more chances of the plates or the holes or the sieves getting choked because of the foaming system and that will restrict the vapor liquid contact surface so guys foaming liquid is more suitable in the case of pack column and guys at the end talking about the application pack column are common in specific process guys the pack column are often preferred in applications where a large number of theoretical plates are not essential such as vacuum distillation and some specialty chemical process and guys on the other hand in the case of tray column they are commonly used in refineries the tray column are commonly used in large scale application such as crude oil refinery where high purity separation is crucial okay guys so these were some of the differences between the packed column distillation and tray column distillation and concluding the video in terms of the selection criteria the choice between the packed and the tray column distillation depends on the factors such as desired separation efficiency the nature of mixture and specific requirement of the process and in the terms of application specific the packed column are often chosen for simplicity and low pressure drop while the tray column are preferred for high purity separation in large scale industrial application in summary the decision between the packed and the tray column depends on the specific need and the characteristic of the process okay guys so this was all about this video where we discussed about the differences between the packed column distillation and the tray column distillation guys i hope you like this video and thank you for watching and guys for more video related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety you can subscribe to this channel and guys feel free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you in next video